And we're going to continue our coverage of the devastating and deadly wildfire in Maui right now and the local efforts to help survivors there. Joining us this morning is Alicia Clark. She's the Director of Pharmacy and Clinical Affairs at Direct Relief in Santa Barbara. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, let's get right into it. You guys sent us some new video from Maui. What's it like there? Because you guys have been there on the ground pretty much since it happened. What, what can you tell us? Yeah, I think at this point in time, it's really just a, a very strong community-led effort. Um, there are a lot of uh, local volunteers and organizations that are um, really leaning in and um, you know really trying to help the community. Um, we have sent out you know wildfire kits, which are actually pre-packed modules um, containing medications and supplies specifically for wildfire response. Um, they have things like respiratory medications, um, uh, eye medications, masks, and things like that. Um, we typically get a lot of requests for products after these wildfires, and so this is a, a ready-to-go um, kit that we have deployed. And also crucial medical supplies as well. Mm -hmm. People, you know, we think people have diabetes, mm -hmm. they need their inhalers. There's so mm -hmm. many things that you guys provide for people that keeps them alive, essentially. Yeah, I, I think the role is to really fill a gap while things are still chaotic. Um, you know, one of the most requested items right now is insulin, um, as well as diabetes medications. Um, also hygiene kits, so those um, hygiene kits are going to the shelters for a large number of displaced individuals. And let's take a look if we can, if we can show the video on the ground there. Uh, it's hard to describe here in our own words when you're not there. Let's show that video if we can. I guess we can, but go ahead. Yeah, so um, this uh, video here is when we were first packing up the shipment to go to Maui, um, and we're working with the local groups that have been in the community long term. So um, this is Healthy Mothers, Healthy, ba uh, he healthy Babies, and they um, have been embedded in the community um, focusing on maternal child health, and they have gone out and delivered supplies uh, to the community in the areas that need it most. And we've just had so much devastation uh, around the world recently. Seems like disaster after disaster after disaster. Mm -hmm. How do you guys keep going? How do you guys keep making sure that you're there where you need to be? Yeah, I mean, I think that um, they are becoming more intense and more frequent. And, you know, we have the privilege of being able to really stay focused on, on health and medicine. And so um, by doing that, you know, we're able to move fairly quickly. Um, we're not burdened by all of the other things that happen during disasters and so we're able to really laser focus on the specific needs in the communities um, and really it's kind of uh, repeating you know uh, the different types of situations whether it's a hurricane, a flood, an earthquake, um, we still think about the same core principles of, of how we can be of assistance. And you also have to anticipate so mm -hmm. we've, we're keeping our eye on Hurricane Hillary yep. We don't know what its impacts are going to be yet, mm -hmm. but it could be pretty devastating. So you have to look ahead and as well. What do you need to do for that situation? Yeah, specifically for hurricanes, you know, we pre-position modules along the Gulf, um, and we also have uh, things ready to go. And so um, our team in Mexico is, uh, they have everything kind of staged and ready. They're also working with mobile units that are ready to deploy. And then we'll also reach out to, depending on the track, um, our long-term partners in uh, San Diego County, um, Los Angeles County, who we've worked with uh, over the past years for wildfires. All right, and how can people donate and how can they also keep up with you? I know you have Instagram where you're always posting the updates and everything that you guys are doing. You have your Instagram and I think you also have a website. It's directrelief.org, correct? Yep, directrelief.org. Um, you can keep up to date with all of our current activities. All right, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. You can also donate there as well and help out. Appreciate thank having you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you.